guys Mike Miner here another cool stuff today regarding CPU mining today I'll be sharing about how you can mine using your Macintosh or your MacBook in mining Raptorium which some say mining Raptorium is not possible in Mac OS where what they advise is to install a bootcamp and then uh, run it as a Windows my testing is it's running purely in Mac OS now the price of Raptorium is a bit high compared to the previous uh, video that I've created. The price that time is about 0.01++. Now it's about 0.02. 0206 as of uh, November 10, 2021. So if you try to go to miner stat, you try to check the price or the profit of a daily profit of a 3,250 hash per second based on what we compute last week is actually about $1 plus but now it's about $2.26. That's uh, increased by how many percent? So it's uh, Raptorium is really pumping, and uh, I think it goes with uh, with the pump of Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum right now. But so far so good. If we're going to mine Raptorium using our CPU step that we need to do is we need to install docker into our mac operating system so we need to download this uh, mac with intel chip and then uh, after download we try to install this so after the installation we can verify if we have successfully installed the docker is yes, by uh, typing docker in the command line as we open the terminal then it will show you this kind of uh, log so that means we have already successfully installed the docker in our uh, in our computer so in order for us to to install our program is to run my script or the docker file script that i've created where you're going to be able to install the the miner or as soon as we have installed the docker we are going to run my script uh, using this uh, very simple one I'm running actually as a web server we're gonna be running my docker file script in order for us to create the docker program in order for us to start our mining because mining directly from Mac OS you will not be able to run the CPU miner GR or the RTM that we have uh, discussed last time you're not able to run it directly to Mac OS so what you need to do is to create a docker which runs on Linux and uh, we try to, to run a script to download automatically and then uh, replacing the wallet inside and then we try to run this and then uh, it will try to maximize uh, the, the mining using the docker so another thing that we need to discuss on is uh, by setting up your docker or you need to set your docker preference uh, you need to maximize the speed of your docker or the cpu resource resources so when you take a look on the resource here i'm trying to maximize my cpu to 8 since i have a 8 cpu uh, mac os which runs on intel i7 specification of this mac is actually very low only it's a uh, it's a 2016 macbook 15 inch with a processor of 2.7 gigahertz quad core intel i7 and then memory is 16 gb at 2133 mega hash so and, and then it's running on radeon pro 455 2 gb so what we need to set now is we are going to set our docker to maximize the cpu when it tries to mine so when we are sleeping or we are not using our macbook we can uh, do some mining in it so now as you can see it's maximized to 8 that's one of the settings that we need to do so the next step is actually to set our docker and uh, the docker file and then uh, in order for us to run this uh, the script so i'll just have to explain what the script is doing is the first line here is actually creating the directory and then uh, you need to install the some of the things which is the wget which is to download the, the script that we have mic minor server and then we download also the screen actually this screen is we don't use anymore we can remove this so we can save space and then uh, we try to run here wget in order for us to download the script and uh, we set our working directory to this and then we replace the server which is the asia asia pool or flock pool because this one is the default uh, configuration in the config.json so we need to replace it with this value uh, it's a flock pool under asia 555 then uh, the default settings that we have for the wallet is this one so we got to replace it with our new wallet address 
or with our wallet and then we replace it with the worker name so that would be the thing to replace the value of the previous value so it's all set in the config.json then we try to set the permission of the cpu miner.sh to be able to execute and then the cmd is to execute the bash script so if you run this it will try to create the, the program or it will try to create so i created the deploy.sh the deploy sh so it will try to remove the existing docker and then it will try to remove also whatever has been installed previously I, if i'm going to browse it by docker ps to list down all the dockers running inside so currently i have here already the cpu miner which is installed and currently it's not running so because i'm currently working so it's uh, actually disabled right now but how to run this script is actually by by running my deploy sh by running that deploy that sh and that's it it's going to deploy the docker file by creating this cpu miner as soon as the cpu miner has been created then you can be able to run it actually once once you try to run the shell script it will automatically run the cpu miner but since right now my cpu miner is uh, not running so what i can do is i can run it by running docker start then the container id of the cpu miner and then it will try to run if you try to take a look i run like this it's running ready up for four seconds so what i'm going to do is i'm going to query the log and then it will show me how to query the log is by typing docker logs and then the container id and it will show me that it's already uh it's actually starting so what you can do is if you want to follow it just pass parameter f follow so it will follow the log of the miner itself as you can see now it's starting and uh, it's trying to find some shares uh, when you try to mine as you can see now guys it's already mining it has accepted some shares already and if you try to take a look on uh clock pool i have already three active workers so to where i have discussed this on my previous video the two rigs that i have set up then uh, my macbook pro i7 which runs right now is just uh, it has started so uh, it won't show you any average hash uh, hash rate here is because it has not run run uh, for a few hours it has only started for a few minutes and as you can see here i have an accepted of 58 but since this uh, this 58 is already since last night where i'm trying to start it but uh, i just stopped it last night also i was just starting and review it and then uh, i just wanted to share with you that uh, uh, trying to mine in a macbook os or the mac os is possible really in order for you to maximize your profit where the price of rapturium right now is really good and it's good time to really mine the it's a good sign to start mining using your cpu and some more for the investment that you've made it can cover for the cost that you have buy for your uh, macintosh or your macbook pro i hope you learned something how you can set up the cpu miner mining uh, rapturium in your mac os it's not that very difficult to set up but it's uh, very straightforward in the future i'm planning to, to mine or i might be able to get a new macbook in the future i'm planning to test it out uh, using m1 i hope i can get one m1 and then uh, i can test it out if this thing works but uh, if you guys have a macbook m1 why don't you try give it a try then let me know if it that if that one really helps or if that one works so that uh, i'll be able to be encouraged to buy m1 also or the m1 macbook that's it guys thanks for watching and peace out shalom